few goalkeepers break onto the scene early in life. Minding the net seems to be a job more suited to the experienced, cultured and long-serving professionals who have spent years upon years studying the game. So when some 16-year-old kid comes along and is said to be the best keeper since Gianluigi Buffon, <laughs> Top Corner is going to investigate. Meet Miles Sivillar. Yeah, he's a teen and already worth half a million. How does that make you feel? What we know about Marl is that he is the brightest goalkeeping talent in Europe. I mean, you're going to come at me screaming and kicking, shouting Donnarama, but nah, we count the Italian as already established. I mean, come on, he plays for AC Milan. For Marl, the gloves were passed down to him from his father, Ratko, who played in goal for Yugoslavia. Marl is a two-time UEFA League semi-finalist and made his debut for Anderlecht under-19s at the age of 15. Simply put, everybody is raving about him on FM17. So, here's why. We started a career mode with Middlesbrough and looking at their goalkeeping scenario on the game, Victor Valdez is 34 and Brad Guzan is soon joining Atlanta. Yeah, they could do with some fresh blood in the keeper department and every other department, but we don't have time for that. Mile or Mille, if you just randomly want to sound posh, he's easy to find. Just head on over to the Pro League and at Anderlecht, even if you haven't loaded up the Belgium League, he'll be there with four other players. Unfortunately, our only scout available at this time was Gary Gill. And looking at his stats, he's probably going to come back with a report of Mile saying that he's a 35-year-old veteran striker from Slovenia. Gaz has just 9 and 8 for judging players' ability and potential. This is out of 20, by the way. But has been Boris chief scout since 2011. No wonder they're in so much trouble. As expected, then, Gary came back for some pretty horrendous scout work, virtually digging up none of Miles' attributes. So, f*** it. Cheers, Gaz. Let's just sign him. I guess that's probably what Middlesbrough do in real life anyway. But without getting into it, our budget is just 500k and Anderlecht wanted something more in the region of 20 mil. Back to waiting several months for Gaz to complete his scout work then. Enjoy your holiday in Belgium, mate. Yeah, so Gary Gill didn't get much back to us at all. Literally, we had to resort to this instead. So there you have it. Marl has very decent stats for his age, with far better speed than both Valdez and Guzan. In terms of the technicality of a GK, his handling and reflexes are both very good, with all the other attributes needed to succeed as a goalkeeper in the 8-10 to 10 region already, which is impressive. Two or three seasons and Marl could be a starter in one of Europe's top leagues. We don't have three seasons to wait though. So, what do we do? We Sim 7. Woo! Sim Sim Sim. Welcome to 2024. A time where after a four year absence, Manchester United have emphatically returned to the top of the Premier League and refused to budge. Tottenham have comfortably moved into their new stadium. Look at that name, that's just genius. And Diego Jota, he's one of the best attacking midfielders in the world and has scored 43 goals in 79 international games. But what of Miles Sevilla? Well yeah, he's decent and he plays for Chelsea. There's just one small problem and that problem is called Courtois. Sevilla joined Chelsea when he was 18 having broke into the Anderlecht team and looked pretty <laughs> hot. Bizarrely, he slots straight in at Stamford Bridge playing 21 games and conceding as many goals with an average rating of 6.84. Not bad for a teenage EPL debut, but from then it was back to manning the bench as Courtois' shadow. Not something to be embarrassed about, with Courtois maintaining his reputation as one of the best goalkeepers on the planet for a long time. In fact, there's little to compare the two if we have a look here. But with Sevilla also of Belgium heritage, he seems to be playing second fiddle just about everywhere on the game. Side note, Belgium wingback Mohamed Ali. Hmm. So there you have it. Marcel Vlaar does become one of the best goalkeepers in the world, despite simulating until 2024 when he only becomes 20 for himself. He has some brilliant stats with 16 plus for reflexes, throwing, decisions and incredible speed for a GK. Maybe he can end up playing in that sweeper keeper role that looks so important in the modern game. In real life he has moved on from Anderlecht to Benfica very recently so let's hope he can get some game time and really grow into his potential. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the watch. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Top Corner, your number one place for all the gaming content from FIFA to Football Manager. And we'll have a little bit of Pez in there now and again.